guys, it's Kat. Um, I'm here this week to do the freshwater update, let you guys know what we got in today. Um, I do want to remind you guys, or at least let you guys know, we have a lot of custom stands and canopies in the store right now that we've had for about a week or so. They're here, they're beautiful, we have something for everybody. Uh, appreciate it, and let's show you guys what we've got in. All right, so this week we got in some absolutely gorgeous uh, rams. We got in some hyphen German and some hyphen golds. These are a type of dwarf cichlid. They are semi-aggressive, uh, but they are really, really pretty if you're looking for something with a decent bit of color. Um, they're going to have a lot of really nice iridescence through the cheeks, and they do tend to stay for, towards the middle or the bottom of the tank, making them a great tank mate for things like rainbow fish or giant danios. Definitely come check these guys out. All right, we got in some absolutely adorable leopard puffers this week. Uh, Ryan's not here. He's out doing an install right now, but you know what he would say if uh, he was here with us today? Oh, I was going to do it. <laughs> do it. Wake up, puffers! <laughs> But yeah, these guys right now are sitting in the salinity at about 1.007. They do um, they do like salt in the water, so they're going to be uh, best anywhere from 1.005 to 1.010. Um, they're going to get probably around three inches when they're full grown. Right now, they're only about an inch long and absolutely adorable. Uh, they are aggressive. They are going to want to eat uh, snails and blood worms and uh, snack on just anything that kind of has a hard outer shell just to go ahead and trim their beaks. Um, they do well by themselves. Don't try and put them in a community tank or you might wake up with missing fish in the morning. But they are absolutely adorable. They're at a great price point. Come see these guys. All right, so this tank this week is absolutely full of some gorgeous nano fish that we got in. Everything from cardinal tetras to harlequin rasboras. We got in some really pretty scarlet battis, as well as some red pencil fish, which we don't see too often. Um, these guys are all community. They're not going to get very big in your tank. Uh, absolutely gorgeous, lots of really cool colors. Uh, all of them, except for the scarlet battis, are going to be a schooling fish, so make sure when you come in and ask for them, we're getting at least four or five of them so they feel comfortable in the tank. Um, but really nice for a good pop of color in your aquarium. Alright, we got in some pearl garamis this week. These guys are absolutely gorgeous. They have the white polka dots in iridescence that go down the side. That when the light reflects off of them is really, really pretty. Um, unlike a lot of the garami species, these guys are relatively peaceful. They do have super teeny tiny mouths and they're not as prone to nipping fins and things like that. But they're definitely worth looking into if you're looking for a statement fish for a smaller aquarium. All right, guys, I wouldn't be me if I didn't show you a monster. This week, we got in a absolutely gorgeous red tail cat. He's probably about four inches right now. Um, and as most of you probably know, they get the size of a small Volkswagen. Uh, we definitely recommend having access to a private pond if you're going to look into purchasing one of these. Uh, as sooner or later, they're going to outgrow most any aquarium that you can buy in a store and not have special ordered. That being said, they do make an awesome addition to a tank with some large predators. Um, he's eating great and he's absolutely beautiful, so stop by and check this guy out. All right, this guy is, is one of my favorite plecos that we get in from time to time. This is a blue phantom. Um, I. I love these guys because the colors really are striking uh, when the light hits it. It's got that super dark blue color overall with the light blue polka dots uh, that go down the entire body. These guys get roughly about nine inches full grown. Uh, super cool, relatively peaceful. Um, one of my absolute favorites, so I do just want to show them off every time that we get them in. Come check this guy out. He's probably already about six inches, so he is decent size. Right. We have a good selection of tiger barbs this week. Everything from the common tiger barb to the green tiger barb. Uh, we also have some of the albino tiger barbs in. Um, most of you know these are semi-aggressive, so they do get a little bit nippy at times, but they do well together in schools. Um, and they're absolutely an awesome statement fish. Some really pretty colors in a freshwater fish. Come check these guys out. So I've got to show this guy off. I've got three of them this week. It's called a Payara, but it's also known as a saber-toothed barracuda, a vampire tetra, 
uh, or vampire fish. Um, these guys are extremely aggressive. Make sure that you know that. They are predatory um, and they're found in the Amazon basin in South America. They're going to do best long term with other predatory fish that cannot be eaten. Um, as you can maybe see, I've got some guppies in this little in, enclosure with him right now and he's been munching on those all day so as small as he is which is only about two to three inches he's able to get these guppies down no problem so definitely come check these guys out it's extremely rare that we've actually got them in but i've got three of them right now all right we have in some medium electric blue acaras this week these are another one of my favorites because they're not overly aggressive for a south american cichlid um, and the color is absolutely stunning uh, they've got that super bright electric blue with a little bit of orange on the top fin. Um, they're going to do well with other large peaceful cichlids uh, or things like rainbow fish, giant danios, um, fish that aren't small enough that can, you know, fit in their mouths. Um, but again, you know, one of my favorite non-aggressive South American cichlids. All right, so I got in some small peacock bass this week. A lot of people ask for these, um, and it's not often that I can get them in the store. So when I saw them on the list this week, I went ahead and snatched up six of them. Um, these guys do get rather large, 16 to 18 inches. Uh, they are predatory. They will eat anything that fits in their mouth, similar to basically any other bass. Uh, but they're a super cool addition to any tank. They throw some really pretty colors once they get large. Come check these guys out. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap up the freshwater fish for this week. Remember, I only showed you a few of the things that we got in, but we definitely got in a lot of, a lot of other cool stuff as well. Um, don't forget about the stands and canopies that we have in right now. Uh, come check those out. Come see the fish we got in, and hopefully we'll see you guys soon. Give us a like. Give us a follow on YouTube. Make sure to check out our Instagram and Facebook as well. See you guys next week.